this is our project for BLAP, as you would call it, which would be a battery of lemons, apples, and potatoes. We're only going to be showing you the potatoes because it's pretty much the same for the others, just a uh, different voltage. Okay. So, as you can see, we are going to use this big potato here. Yeah. And that uh, we have our material set up with an LED light bulb that's 2.25 volt, I'm pretty but sure. The lower the better. Yeah. It'll bright up more. Then we also have copper. We can you can use pennies and zinc. You can use galvanized nails. Yeah. Or you can use these rods right here. Yeah, just make sure if you have these types that the little holes are on the top and then not in the potato. We have a volt reader to find the voltage. Cables. You can use copper wire if you run out of jumper cables. They work the same. Yes. Just a little trickier. And we also have this. That will keep the dark. That will show the darkness okay. and how bright the light is. So the first step that you're going to want to do for this project is you're going to want to take a piece of the copper and a piece of the zinc and put it into the potato, making sure they're not touch. If they touch, it will ruin the current. And you're going to take one jumper cable, two actually, to the copper, and the other jumper cable to the zinc. Just leave the ends open so you can attach them to the ends of the volt reader to see how many you get. Try to make sure that you're using the same colors because sometimes it can get a little confusing. Or just make sure positive is red and negative is black. Okay. So as you can see, the voltage is 0.86 volts. That's about quite a bit for the potato. potato. And these potatoes are cut in half, so it might not be as much, but we're going to switch it to the potatoes. So after you find the voltage, you can record it. If you want, if you don't want to, yeah. you don't have to. And then you can take the zinc, which is negative, and hook it up to another potato. Which is hook it up to the co copper, which is our positive. Take another, another jumper cable, and hook that up to the zinc. And use yes. that end. Should I connect to the copper? Yep. And last we have is this last um, nice nail, or zinc. And this... The last two do not connect, and then you connect them to the volt reader, and find voltage, and it's 3.35, around 3.30. It may vary depending on yeah. the size of your potato and how yeah. fresh they are. If they stay out, the juice will run out, which is mainly what so don't produces use, this. So don't use dry potatoes. You should yeah. wash them first and then dry them and then cut them in half. And make sure they're clean. Okay, so, so we have this. Now we're going to right, hook it up to this like little that. LED right here. And the longer leg on it is a positive, and the shorter is a negative. So when you hook that up, just make sure you're using the same. That might be can't really hard to see. see. It's down here. It's like right in there. Be able to see it, maybe. Okay. Okay. If if you saw it, that's good. If you didn't, oh, if you didn't, then that sucks. Now this is when. Actually, I'm gonna take the cord out and make it easier. If you take one out and you just show it without it being lit, you can see the difference. If you look in there, you can't really see anything. Nothing really. Nothing, you can't see anything. So, now we just proven to you that potatoes can actually light up an LED light bulb just as long as it has like about more voltage than yeah. the LED light bulb. It's the same for lemons, but when you're using pennies, if you don't have any more uh, copper rods or if you're just using pennies the whole for the whole experiment, uh, make sure you cut it uh, a little use slot like, into use it. Use like a little knife. And cut a little slit, you know, big enough for the penny to fit through. Otherwise, it won't fit. And make sure that it's not too deep, or else you won't get your penny back. Yeah. So that's it for that. The experiment. Yeah. Lighting up.
up um, LED light bulb. And if you did see the light, the then that's good, but... Here is a circle, it knows how to get around. It has a radius from center to rim. And its diameter's a line that goes from side to side while passing through the center. Now isn't that simple?